All right, question number six. Um, it says, for the accompanying data set, we want to draw a scatter diagram. And it says, by hand, compute the correlation coefficient. And it says, determine whether um, the linear relationship, whether there is a linear relationship between x and y. OK, so we will not be doing that by hand. Again, it's a very complex, complicated. Um, we're going to use technology to compute the R. If you feel so inclined, you can, but technology is going to get you there much faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just enter it into the calculator to show you that, that method, and then um, from there, we'll compute the rest of it. So I'm going to show you all of this with the calculator. So I'll pull up the data set. I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to go to Stat. I'm going to hit Enter on Edit. I'm going to put the X coordinate in um, the L1 and the Y coordinate in the L2. Um, L2, four, eight. 10, 14, 18. Okay, once we get that, <clears throat> I'm gonna go to stat plot. So I'm gonna do second y equal. I'm gonna hit enter to turn it on. Hit enter. And then the first one that is highlighted is like a scatter plot. It's on already hit down. It's already on the scatter plot, so I'm going to hit graph. And then you can see some dots, but if I do zoom 6, well not 6, I want to do zoom 0. I was going to actually not zoom 0, I want to do zoom stat. Where is stat at? Did I miss that? Zoom stat. It's going to give me a, so option number 9. I'm going to do zoom stats. It's going to give me a stat plot diagram. Now, I still got equations in y equals, so let me clear this out so I don't see a line. So, I get this. So, here's my relationship. Um, looks close to B. You can see they have a window that goes to 20 and 10. If I want to do that, I can go to window, my x minimum 0, x max 10, um, counting by 1s y minimum 0, y maximum 20, and then we can do graph and we get one a little bit closer to what we see. Actually, D looks the best as far as that window is concerned. Now, once you do that, um, we can do stat. We can go over to calc. Now, since we're doing two variables, we're going to do option number two. It's going to give me a two variable statistics. And then x is in L1, Y is in L2, uh-oh, arrow down, and compute. And so it'll give you some statistics. So this is neat because it gives you the mean of the first one, and it gives you the standard deviation, or this is the sample standard deviation, this is the population standard deviation. Most of the time we're going to be using the sample. Then you go down, it gives you the mean of the second data set, and its standard deviation, the sample and the population. And you keep going down and it doesn't show you the R, but you can get it to show R if you turn R diagnostics on. So on the calculator, if we go to mode, and we're going to arrow down where it says next. Um, well actually, if I, I do that with the linear regression. Um, Right now it says stat diagnostic diagnostics is off. I'm going to come down here and turn it on. So that will allow it to output the R. So if I do second quit, <clears throat> I can also do stat, go over to calc, and then we want to do a linear regression. The first one is going to give you a line if you were doing just like regular algebra. However, Option number eight will do a linear regression for um, the statistics part, which is what we're doing. So if we do eight, we're going to go down here and compute this. 
it will calculate those diagnostics it gives you the R and the R squared which we'll talk about a little bit later but here's R this computes it for us so once you do this it will compute it for you um, furthermore we can get it to graph a line of best fit which is something that we also will do moving forward so if I wanted to graph this line for me here are the inputs I can type it itself or I can go to y equal and then I want to go to I want to say vars y vars um, and then not not that one vars statistics that's it okay and then equation and we want the regression equation so it's going to pull up the one you just recently done so it's going to put those values here and if I graph this now it gives me a line of best fit okay so once you compute um, once you go to stat and calc and you compute the two um, variable statistics and then you also compute um, 8 for the regression equation it will allow you to recall those and then from there you can also just recall what R is if I want to go to stat not stat sorry um, statistics bars option number 5 if I arrow up so you got these standard deviations and everything there arrow over I think it's still an equation there's R down there option number seven so if I just hit enter on R once you've computed it it will just give out what R is okay so based on all that we have the scatter plot it's gonna be D um, the correlation coefficient around the three decimal places so I had that compute 0.925 And then, because the correlation coefficient is positive, absolute value of the correlation coefficient is um, 0.925, which is the same thing, is greater than the critical value. So we need to look at the table. So here's the table. We had how many data points? Five? M was 5, which was 0.878. That's my critical value. So that's greater than the critical value of point, what was it again? Uh, 878. let me read this because the correlation coefficient is positive the absolute value of the correlation coefficient is 0.925 this is greater than the critical value for this data set which is 0.878 um, a positive linear relationship exists because it's greater than 